name is Matt Crum. I am the playwright and one of the actors for The Hooves Belong to the Deer. Uh, my name is Peter Hinton Davis, and I am the director. The Hooves Belong to the Deer is a play about Izzy, who is a queer Muslim boy, teenager, who lives in rural Alberta and is struggling with coming to terms with himself and his identity as a, a, a queer person and as a Muslim and dealing with a constant duality of real power and also cultural, religious, spiritual shame associated with that. My family is Muslim. We were born in real dayas, Muslim people. My heritage, my lineage is Muslim. But me personally, this person, this body, this experience, grew up surrounded by Christianity. In small town Canada, a very evangelical Christianity that we're hearing about today in the news, attacking queerness. Um, and, and that's not, that's very intentional to talk about how Christianity um, how co colonization of the imagination and of the spirit happens in many different ways. Uh, the, the play doesn't um, prioritize or, or bias uh, a lived experience that we recognize by seeing any more than it does a, a mythic uh, spiritual world that is lived by faith and by believing. They both interact with one another. So that's one of the challenges in directing it, is keeping a recognizable world of um, pop songs and uh, the world that's very, very familiar to us outside those doors and the interior world, the world of our beliefs. You know, I keep contextualizing it as the domination of a queer Muslim spirit by Christian forces. Um, and that in itself is the tragedy. I had to reckon with my own tragedy and at its heart, it's about queer shame. And where that takes the character is very different than where I've ever ended up, but it allows me to explore what happens if we give in to that shame, if that shame consumes us, where does that take us? Macrum and I have a lot of shared uh, loves, shared interests, shared passions for things. And we are the most different people in the world. We're different culturally, we're different generationally. And that has been like something I am so grateful for, that I turned 60 years old this year, and I love being in a room of young thinkers, of people that are redefining what the theater is. And so I, every day I'm challenged of what I bring to it, what the experience I have, the knowledge I have, is always up for scrutiny too. And I welcome that. It's the exchange of differing points of view that make it really meaningful. Uh, Peter has been a mentor and a friend of mine throughout, you know, I, I, we met in university and he's just been by my side through um, so much of my career in the past five years, but we really, I sent him the very, very first draft of this play. And he has a way of empowering and dignifying what is really working and amplifying it. And so him and I worked really closely over the past three years, over the, through the pandemic, I started writing this in March of 2020. And then like, what can I say about the acting team? They're incredible. Uh, yeah, I feel very privileged, very lucky, and very like, I'm bettered being surrounded by such a, like a powerful company. Uh, the, the designers, the stage management team, everybody is, it, there's an energy in the room right now where there's a, uh, a lot of uh, love for the project, which means a lot to me. The Hooves Belong to the Deer begins performances March 28th. Get your tickets at tarragontheatre.com. <laughs>